Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more EU4 Dharma. Playing as the Moogles going for the true heir of Timur achievement. Still woefully out of manpower. We at least are able to uh, raise some levies now if we wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and call a die here. How much influence can you have before you become a danger? Hey everybody, it's Provis from the future. I recorded a couple of really large batches for the series, and it took a long time to catch up with the comment section. So you can see here, I finally figured out that I can go up to 100% influence. So stop yelling at me. Thank you. Because I've seen some conflicting information on that. Peasants war, blah, blah, blah. I actually wonder. Can I just go ahead and recruit a general from you? Yeah, we're not getting a looming disaster from that, so I think we can. And let's go ahead and raise the levies, and that gets me the manpower I'm looking for. I'm not going to worry about the Rajputs. I mean, I'd love to, but I'm not going to. Could make a uh, uh, donation to the Ulema, but I don't see a point. Uh, influence and loyalty from the Brahmins. Okay. We'll just go ahead and do that. A little bit of extra loyalty, stability cost modifier, and so on. I mean, maybe. All right, so we're going to go kill Jampur. Should not be too difficult. If I can just catch them somehow. There we go. Maybe not. Nope, they're going to go fight Bengal and stack wipe them. Wonderful. Well, I can see your stack wipe and raise you a stack wipe. Level 1 fort. 1, 2, 3 plus a cannon. Go here. Cannons plus mercs. Plus an extra. Go here. You split. And split. Go here, and you go here, and that's going to be a full occupation of them. Iberian Wedding. Wow, 1504 and finally Iberian Wedding fair, uh, fires. It's been a while. Protestantism entrenched in the Papal State. Cool. All right, so this is going to be a super easy war. Poor government policies. I am okay with losing some government reform progress. For once, we have stability that actually can help reduce my unrest. I mean, just for once. Like, I'm going to go with patrol up here for a little bit, and that might be enough to actually put something freaking down. I would love to not have to worry about lower Doab and stuff. Right here. They're at 90% right now, you know? We're close. Army career. We can finally get that army tradition up to 100, but most of it's going to be wasted. I think I'd rather... Well... Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and just lose some army tradition. We're not getting a lot of pips. I mean, it is a little bit of extra morale of armies, but right now we're all right. Ajam is basically dead. Aw. I liked Ajam. I feel bad for them now. Okay. I need to kill you. But I stand by this whole let's put down the rebels thing. Actually, let's split you. Half of you put down rebels. Half of you put them down here. There we go. That's one set gone. Golistan is at 90%, really, up here? Come on, man. You're so close to not being a problem anymore. Whatever, they only have a 1.4% chance. Hopefully they don't. If my war exhaustion can be paid down, I think that solves the problem. Let's do it. Okay, so they're going to go away. That deals with some more rebels. We're looking good. We're actually stabilizing. Thank you, plus two stability. It makes a huge difference. And there goes the siege. Free Diplo power. Common declares war on Chagatai. I need you guys. Because we're going to want to kill Rottenpoor. Now that would give me an excuse to fight Mawar. Unless Mawar doesn't join, which they would. Mawar. Now, you're someone I need to take some land from. I think there's one right here. That's not the one I'm thinking of. This is the one I'm thinking of. There we go. If we can take three provinces from you, we will get morale of armies, manpower recovery speed. Basically, for the rest of this campaign. Uh, interesting, we have to own two cores. It doesn't say that we can hand it off to a non-tributary subject. So I think we have to actually take some land for ourselves. And then the last one we can give off to Jelsimur. So we need to take 
Ajmer and Chitor. So these two for myself, and then the rest we could feed off to a vassal. That'd be good. This is the one we need for this one, which will give me a whole new set of uh, claims. All provinces in the southern Sindh area. Where's uh, southern Sindh? Right here. We took one province from you. You're allied to Baglana, and you're guaranteed by the Timurids. Another fight against the Timurids? Are you freaking kidding me? That's irritating. Encroachment of the Mansabars. Uh, Alright. They can have some influence. I don't care. Honestly, I probably should be using them more than I am anyway. No, Pat, no, I don't need to call you in, but I will use you probably against Orissa or somebody. Who are they allied to? Oh, Patna, never mind. I can't use them against them at all. I will call them against Arakan then. Alright. So that's done. Um. You don't have any cores this way? No. Do I take all this for myself? Do I feed some of us off to Doty? Maybe I just take this all for myself. No, I'll feed some off to Doty. I'll take these for myself. Doop, 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 doop. Full annexation of Jean Poor finally done and over with. Get another chunk of money. At least some. The rest will just have to go to waste, I guess. And that is it. Boom. So that's finally done. Finish a mission? Yes. The Emperors of Hindustan. Gain claims on Northern Bengal and Gar areas. Also gain six more development in Delhi. Boom. Next mission. Own all provinces in the Northern Bengal and Gar areas, which are Gar and Nor East Bengal, Northern Bengal. So all this. I have claims there, but you already have cores, so who cares? So nothing's really changed there, but that's fine. I think that is probably the next set of missions that we'll need to do after I finish killing you. I guess I can kill Jarkand. Eat them. I'm debating whether or not I want to kill... You know what? Orisa doesn't have any other friends. If I call in Patna on this war to help him fight Mawar, then I can kill Orisa before the war ends. They have no other allies, so it'll be a cakewalk. And then Arakan I can worry about later. That works. Yeah. I am, I am probably happy with that. Uh, Multani are at a pretty high amount there. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get myself another general. Okay. We have five army professionalism, which means I actually could get some manpower, which I will do. 10,000 free manpower is awesome. And now we have a hefty number of generals that we can use in future wars. I like this idea. Jarkand, who are you allied to? Ratanpur? And that's it. You are a tributary under Arakan. I don't want to co-belligerize you then. I think we can just eat you in one war anyway. This should be fine. And Mawar, we don't have a truce until 1507. I can't co-belligerize them. It's debating whether I want to wait and take more land. Maybe it is worth waiting and taking more land. I only need three to finish a mission, though. All right. We're going to go ahead and do this. Uh, let's declare the war. Skadoosh. You, sir, are my new super shock value general. Oh, you're already being sieged. I just made this connection. All right, never mind. You guys are going to go kill Jarkand. You guys are going to go over here and get ready to kill Mawar. Go, go, go. We still have a fort over here that I forgot to delete. That's fine, though. Come back to that. Tie him down, please, until the rest of us can get here to kill him. Thank you. Squish. And you are going to go chase down this army. Squish. And then go down here. You have been sieged down by 
Jangguar, or whatever they're called. How many forts we got in Mawar? None. Is their capital and their capital only? All right. You're going to go siege down the two provinces that I need for my mission. We'll have to kill some peasants, but who cares? Good enough. Got a lot of money I'm sitting on right now. Some of this stuff will pay for itself by the end of the game, but not much. Uh, that's the best I can do there. You'll never pay for yourself. All right, good enough. I actually can delete this fort. Don't need it. I can delete this fort. Don't need it. Save myself a little bit of money. War taxes time. There we go. You need three troops here, so we don't need nearly this many. We'll leave behind the cannon. Four mercs, and the rest of you are going to go somewhere else. Namely here, since apparently that war is over, or they've been pieced out. Good chance to kill these guys without having to worry about another tributary of Arakan. We can actually do some conversions, and we're not that far off. Yeah, you may absolutely go kill Chagatai, I don't care. Age of Reformation officially begins. I do at least have a unified culture. Oh, it would be too nice to have a Golden Age. Too nice. Never happen. Okay, I do not need... I guess I could continue to influence them. Sure, I'll continue to influence them, make them trust me so that they never want to join in a coalition. Not that they're a huge threat, but we'll do it. Jarkand has entered into a military alliance with the other person that we are killing, so they don't... Yeah, okay. <laughs> sort of irrelevant, but alright. There's the Siege of Jarkand done. I think we'll just eat them. We have a little bit of overextension left. You're going to go over here. Uh, Rewakantha. Where the heck is Cholistan? Over here. Would love to put this down. If I gave this to the Ulema, that would reduce their unrest by two. Alright. Trying to reduce the likelihood of them firing with a rebellion, because who wants to deal with that? This is desert. Um, nothing I can do about them right now. You're going to go over here. Where are you going? Yeah, I'm not going to get that. Just trying to take as much control as I can here. Alright. So they're sieging down a couple little things. It's not doing much, though. There's some Separatists, and Bengal is in the crossfire. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to help you. Sorry, March. We do not need this many troops. No, we do need nine troops here. Never mind. Okay, we're going to unsiege this. He is going to go get stuck on Delhi or Row, I guess, which is fine. You guys dogpile. He's going to get the siege and give me a few years of Separatism, but oh well. Squish. Okay. There's a siege done there. You, sir. Uh, your alliances are irrelevant. I can make you into a vassal, but I'm not sure I see a point. I mean, I guess I could feed them land. They don't really have a lot of useful stuff, though, so no. I'm just going to take your war reps. You're going to give me a little bit of money. We're going to make Patna happy. You're going to end your rivalry with them, and we're just going to be done with you. You're out. Thank you. Jarkand, I want your land. You will not accept until we have done a bit more damage to the war leaders. That's fine. Importing food to combat famine. I do not need national unrest, so uh, that's definitely preferable to me. Let's go up here and try to put down these rebels before they fire. A talented judge. Local unrest in Transoxiana, which I don't need. A cheaper level 3? I can't afford that anyway. I guess we'll just enjoy the extra state maintenance reduction. Doesn't do a lot for me. I'm making 12 ducats a month right now, and I'm not sure how. But I like it. I'm gonna pay down the war exhaustion. Does that deal with it? Yep, that deals with almost all of our rebel problems. Sweet. 
All right, you guys are just going to go scare these guys away. There goes a fort, and there goes a fort. Okay. So this war is done. Jarkand, you refuse. Muar. I have a few provinces that I need to take for myself. And a few things that I'm going to hand off to a vassal. Oh, this is somebody else's problem. Okay, Moar. Gimme, gimme, gimme. This apparently is enough to go over 100% war score. Wow, these three provinces were going to take an entire war to begin with. That's amazing. All right, I'm going to take what I can off of you. We're going to have to find a way to reduce that truce timer later. But for now, that at least finishes a mission. You're out. And particularists. Guess we'll go change directions and kill them. All right, Jarkan, now are you willing to give up? Nope. I am going to full annex you fools. I mean, if you insist on me killing your troops to prove a point, I'll do it. Come here. Come here. You're running too fast. Slow down. Slow down! I can't keep up. I'm out of shape, you know. Hey, we can get... We could almost have gotten admin tech. I don't care. <laughs> it's... It's almost... It's almost, um, liberating. Saying, screw this whole, like, tech thing. Because I just don't care. I can do what I want. For real, though, you need to give up. Three months, you will. Oh, right, we want to declare war on Orissa. Who, by the way, just allied the very person that we just broke free with, and Patna can't join them. All right. Well, we're going to go ahead and do a reconquest war, and let's go attack. You guys get a down here, please. Oh, I forgot I had troops up here. Hi. We'll just retreat for a second. This should be easy enough. We have to siege these guys down again, but we were black flagged, so. Uh, sure, no guy, and sure, Mawar. Don't need the tech. It's irrelevant. Quality wool, free money. Hey! Okay. So you guys, then, are going to go siege down the capital of Orissa. You guys, then, are going to go scare the crud out of them. Peekaboo! I know you weren't expecting this, were you? Ha-ha! Die! See? They weren't expecting it. And we'll go apply some pressure to, I don't know, another fort. I mean, if I wanted to break free from uh, Patna, this would be a way to break off that relationship. But I'd rather hold on to them since I'm about to take a bunch more overextension. Uh, or, sorry, aggressive expansion. So... Yeah, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Stack wipe! And Orissa's very dead. Alright. Easy mode! We're gonna head all this nonsense off to Bengal and make them super duper happy and rich. We're already sieging down this fort, so that's all the forts currently under siege. You don't need this many troops. Let's pull off the cavalry. Most of everything else. Teach some other stuff. I wish you guys would stop stacking on me, but okay. Oh, no. Not the war exhaustion. No. How could you? No. Hey, cores are done. If we have this much admin power. I think we want to go ahead and get some more states. Malwa. It's going to have high... Um, it's going to have some pretty high... Uh, autonomy to start, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and pay for it. Very good use of admin power. Give me more money, give me more manpower. We're looking so freaking strong right now. Like, we're starting to hit, I think, snowball, like, levels of power. I don't think there's anything that can stop us now. I think we really could just continue declaring wars in India with impunity. And we're going to be fine. War taxes again? All right. Let's be honest, I'm probably not going to get another level of... Um, I'm probably not going to get another level of military tech in this campaign. I might. We'll see. But I doubt it. We want to hand this off to Bengal? We'll see. Let's first hand off all their cores and see how we feel. 
Uh, you splits go here. You splits go here. Since they're having trouble. Squish. Okay, that's the end of that. Let's go up this way. Hey, look, a fort. It's stupid. Let's get rid of it. Thank you. All right, I can't core you because we're at war with somebody who owns some land. Uh, Jarkan, are you giving up yet? Awesome. Give me your money. Okay, you're dead. Thank you. Court. And we have enough uh, war score that I think we can actually safely end this war without worrying about Patna. So let's go ahead and take everything we can from you as well. Goodbye. Core mission. Conquer Malwa. Gain permanent claims on four more areas and 500 ducats and, wow, lose 50% local autonomy in the area we just made into a state. That's amazing. Thank you. Holy freaking crap. All right, now we need to conquer all of this. Good news is I have claims on all of it. Uh, let's get rid of the fort because it's stupid. Well, now. <laughs> this freaking works. Who are you allied to? Oh, you're not even allied to Vagina Gar anymore. I mean, if we fought, you would have to kill Kill Bamanis, but... Why is it saying... Oh, I have it. I have... Yeah, never mind. It's acting as if I don't have a Cassus Belly, but I do. Uh, you are still allied to Vagina Gar. We don't have a truce with you, Bogolana. We could kill you. Later. We'll see. I'm gonna hand off as much land to Bengal as I can, I think. And take states for myself. This makes life a lot easier. Don't you think? Why can't I get here? I'm surprised that this is like perfectly in a zone of control that I can't get to. Who's been annexed? The man looks annexed and naged. Good, my allies are stronger. I'm never going to complain about that. Okay. Uh, you need to get pieced out again. I think we're just going to white peace with you. So we have a five-year truce timer. Okay. One more fort to go from Orissa. This, of course, goes to Bengal. We have claims on both of these as well. We'll probably feed you as much of the coast as we feel like we can. Gosh dang it. You take the fort. You guys go put down rebels somewhere or something. I don't care. Gosh dang it. Again with a 42% chance, guaranteed fail. Uh, we have claims on most of Baglana, not all of it. So I'll go ahead and f so wait for a final claim against them. That's done. Mawari Separatist just fired. Let's go kill him. You're going to go here. I wonder if we're going to get to accept more cultures in a bit. Oh my god, with a 42% chance, it's freaking impossible. Chakatai went bankrupt again. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, take the dang fort! Thank you. God. All right, this stuff's all cores for Bengal, which means they can just eat it, like, with nothing. It doesn't have even... There's not even going to be any core costs. So we're going to go ahead and feed off everything we can to Bengal... I'm not sure how much we can take, but we'll try. I want to feed you all of your cores. That is as much as I can give you. Hey, it's a lot. It costs me nothing. I will also give you a 14-year truce timer. And say good enough. Boom. Okay. Bengal just got a heck of a lot stronger. Mm, that feels good. You are someone I need to kill. But you're allied to Bomanis. Here's a fun thing, though. If I declare war on you, and quickly get Bomanis into a white peace position, uh, we can shorten the truce timer by a couple of years. We need rivals. Let's rival Bomanis, since I plan on killing them. Okay. Um, Patna, how many... Uh, we can actually call you in on this one, too. This is perfect. All right, let's get our troops in position. You suppress some rebels for a little bit. You suppress some rebels for a little bit. Actually, go here. 
There we go. Just buy myself a little bit of time while we figure out what's going on over here. Baglana. Oh, Jalavad. Who else are you allied to? Are you allied to someone new? You're allied to Baglana. Aha! Wait. This is perfect. This is a way... We have just enough favors. Oh, it's perfect! We can call Patna and Vajayanagar in against Bamanis and let them fight. We'll go kill Baglana, which calls in these guys so I can get the one province without having to fight the Timurids again. You see? It works! It freaking works! And then once that's done, we can break off our relationships with both, let the True Star Rumors start going down, and murder everyone in sight! And focus our attention over on the Far East, and with you! No one's gonna give me a lot of aggressive expansion against them! Oh god, we're gonna freaking get this achievement, guys. I actually feel a level of confidence that I hadn't felt before. It makes me happy, when skies are gray, to believe that this, which has, by the way, been a very intensive achievement for me, is actually going to be a doable thing. We can win it. Let's lose the prestige. I think we can freaking do it. Brandenburg's the Emperor. I don't care. Alright, let's see. Um, you get over here. You don't have any cavalry? You go here. You go here. You go there. You go here. There we go. Oh, good. Separatists. Not my separatists, but still. We do have rebels over here that are going to fire in just a little bit. Let's be mindful of that. Unless I raise up some autonomy with them, and that actually would be enough to put it down entirely. Over here? Let's actually go ahead and put, just put this down. You're almost able to be put down, but you're a one province. One province rebellions don't scare me. Because it's only going to be a few thousand troops. Three or four? I don't want to fight 12,000 more separatists, you know? It's too much to ask for. Can't be bothered. Alright. So Bombonis is protecting these guys. These guys are being defended by nobody else. I'm going to call in Patna. Vajinagar won't join. Why? You have a truce with them. How dare you? This actually isn't going to work the way I wanted it to. When does your truce expire? Actually, it still works. I have to wait two months. Hey! <laughs> Whoa, that's incredible. Yas likes me a lot more. And we get more legalism. We're already at 100. So you know what? I say we debase my currency. Sink my legalism. And then get more. Boom. Look at that. Look at that. I got so much more money. You know what we should just freaking do now? Build out some freaking mercs. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. And some cannons. There we go. We'll get up to 57. I can afford a larger army, right? I'm making 16 ducats a month. Granted, a lot of that's coming from war reps, but still. Still. Well worth, I think. You guys get down here. All right. Do not go this way, please. Let's uh, let's just dogpile everything we got here, except for you. You're locked. Crap. I may have just suicided one in. Seventh, second, first. No, we're fine. We're gonna arrive in time. Okay. I thought maybe I just, just sent one Merc to die instantly, which would have been a total waste of money, but... We're good, we got it. Colombian Exchange. Okay, it's it's past January. So you don't have a truce timer with them anymore. But you still won't join, why? Accepting would not destabilize them, why? I don't know why it's saying it would destabilize them. It shouldn't. Uh, is there another BS war I can call these guys into? Sure, if I want to break a, a truce, I can call both of them in on this directly. But I need a way to do this. I need a way to kill Baglana without fighting Vijaya Nagar.
Accepting would destabilize minus 50 reasons. I understand that if you didn't have like any sort of uh, war goal or if you had a truce with them because you can't truce break. Like, I get that. For some reason, it's just not working. All right, we'll come back to this because we're out of time. But thank you all very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If so, then I ask that you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. <laughs>